Hello and welcome along to round 9 of ETF1 League Season 6. We are here in Las Vegas for the Las Vegas Grand Prix. It's a brand new street circuit here as we look at the strip, the famous Las Vegas strip. It's round 9 of 10, fast approaching the final race of the season. So we'll have a look at the points standings heading into round 9. And it's Peter Morgan with 149 points, 5 points ahead of Solomon Fakhry. He's in 2nd place. We've got Chris Paterjack there, 97 points in 3rd position. So it's close up the front between Peter and Solomon. Now if Peter Morgan outscores Solomon by 22 points here in Las Vegas, that's enough points to become champion. As we take a look at the constructors standing, Scuderia Ferrari with 241 points, ahead of Mercedes with 163 points. Now, if Ferrari leave Las Vegas with a lead of 46 points or more, they will become the Constructors' Champions. And Aston Martin there in third position, 117 points, just ahead of Red Bull with 111 points. And McLaren in fifth with 70 points. As we take a closer look at the circuit here in Las Vegas, it's a street circuit running through famous landmarks here, and the back straight goes right through the Las Vegas Strip. Brand new Grand Prix, all the drivers will be hoping to leave their mark here in Las Vegas as we check out the starting grid for the race and Peter Morgan puts his Mercedes on pole position ahead of both Ferraris, Solomon Fakhry in second and Chris Paterjack in third, Blake Williamson finishing in fourth position in qualifying just ahead of Trent Fuller, there's only one one thousandth between them there, fourth and fifth place. So let's check out some highlights now from the Las Vegas Grand Prix. The lights are out and it's your championship contenders, Peter Morgan and Solomon Factory leading the way. Unfortunately for Blake Williamson, he will retire on the first lap and bring out the safety car after hitting the wall just before reaching the back straight of the Las Vegas Strip. Crashed his car and retired instantly. It would take a couple of laps for the safety car to clear all the debris left from Blake Williamson's McLaren, but by the end of lap 3, the field will get going again. And as the race restarts, it's Ferrari 1 and 2, with Solomon in first position, ahead of his teammate Chris Paterjack, and Peter Morgan in third position, and Trent Fuller in fourth place. And at the restart, Chris took a dive into turn 1 and overtook his teammate for the lead. It's lap 5, and Peter Morgan's in the lead. Hit a solid exactly. The two championship contenders fighting it out on the circuit, but they get a little bit too close, and Solomon Fakhry rear ends Peter Morgan. Both cars sustain damage, Solomon losing his front wing, and Peter Morgan also getting front wing damage. Meanwhile, just behind, Trent Fuller also had issues hitting the wall by himself. And all the debris would bring out another safety car. But there was a bit of confusion and we can see Chris Paterjack there overtaking the safety car. But he would spin out a few corners later anyway as we could see Trent Fuller overtaking him.
At the end of the lap 7, the safety car will come in and the drivers will get going again. Solomon Fakri in 1st, ahead of Trent Fuller in 2nd, Chris Padajak in 3rd, and Peter Morgan in 4th. We're on lap 10, and Trent Fuller getting pretty close to the wall there. And on lap 11, there's an epic battle between Solomon Fakery and Peter Morgan fighting for the lead. Lap 19, and Solomon Fakri finds himself working his way up the grid. Trent Fuller just ahead for third place. Solomon pitted for fresh medium tyres after his epic battle for the lead with Peter Morgan. But unfortunately on lap 14 for Solomon, he would cop a drive through penalty for speeding under the safety car. Despite having a bunch of penalties anyway, Chris Paterjack out broke himself up ahead on the track so that Solomon Fakri to pass his teammate for second place. And after 25 laps, Peter Morgan, who crosses the line in first position, with Solomon Fakri in second position, and Trent Fuller finds himself on the podium as well. There was a timing systems error for Chris Paterjack. It showed that he was disqualified and then DNF. This was sorted out a bit after the race, but in the meantime, Trent got to enjoy the podium celebrations. And there we go, Peter Morgan takes the victory here at the first Las Vegas Grand Prix for ETF1 League ahead of his championship rival Solomon Fakri. And Trent Fuller finds himself on the podium after some confusion with the timing system. Chris Paterjack not registering as he crossed the line. As we look at some photos here from the podium celebrations and your driver of the day is also Peter Morgan. So we've got some onboard footage here from Trent Fuller's Aston Martin that will show us the timing failure that happened for Chris Paterjack. So we can see Chris Paterjack is currently in the third position, but as he crosses the line, it shows he has been disqualified. And you can hear on the radio the team telling Trent Fuller his yellow flag out as he crosses the line, fourth position on track, but the timing system says he's third. There was further confusion at the end of the race when Chris Paterjack hit the wall and it showed he DNF'd after he got disqualified. But after double checking with the stewards, there was no disqualification and there was no DNF and he would ultimately finish third. So as we take a look at the full race results, Peter Morgan got the fastest lap as well as the victory and pole position. He also pitted five times during the race with the various safety cars helping him out there. There's four safety cars in total during the race. We have Solomon Fakri there in second position. Ahead of his teammate Chris Paterjack finishes third. Trent Fuller finishes in fourth place. And Blake Williamson retiring on the very first lap. He DNFs. So as we take a look at the Drivers' Championship after Las Vegas, and Peter Morgan has 176 points. He's still ahead of Solomon Fakri, but not enough to take the championship. We will be going to the final round in Abu Dhabi to decide who will be the Season 6 ETF1 League Champion. we got Chris Paterjack there, third position with 112 points. Trent Fuller in fourth with 86 points. Blake Williamson, 70 points, fifth place. Then we look at the Constructors standings and Scuderia Ferrari in first place will be the Season 6 ETF1 League Constructors Champions with well more than enough points ahead of Mercedes as we head into the final round. 
Peter Morgan doing most of the racing for Mercedes this season, but it wasn't enough to overtake the two-car squad of Ferrari with Solomon Fakhry and Chris Panajak bringing home the goods. But with 190 points to their name, Mercedes will take second place in the Constructors' Championship ahead of Aston Martin, who are in third position at the moment. They're on 129 points, and the battle for third will go to Abu Dhabi in the final round, with Red Bull Racing 111 points in fourth, and McLaren in fifth, 70 points. Well, that wraps things up here at the Las Vegas Grand Prix. We're going to leave you with a photo montage of all the action from the race. Photos are a little bit blurry than usual. We're having some technical difficulties here in Las Vegas. The uh, photographers are a bit hazy. But we'll catch you guys at the next race, the final round of ETF1 League Season 6. But until then, it's bye for now.